Hi, I'm Andy Tannenbaum. I'm a professor here at the Friday University Tite. Some of you may know me. I've written several books, a book on computer networks, a book on operating systems, and several others. Uh, today I'd like to give you a quick tour of our university, and afterwards I'll introduce you to some of the people who do teaching and research here, as well as some of the students who study here. Amsterdam is an interesting and exciting city. Students live all over it. Some come to the university by tram. Here's the main building. It houses the humanities and economics faculties. Let's go inside. Often there are art exhibitions in the main lobby. Ilya Ojo Iwa Toku Buku Bachhandel Xigarnia A Here's the science building viewed from the south. It houses the chemistry, physics, mathematics, computer science, earth sciences, and biology departments. Many students come to the university by bicycle. Here's the computer science entrance. Let's go in and see what goes on there. For many students, the first thing they do in the morning is get some coffee. In the morning, we have lecture classes. The master's classes are fairly small. What's a basic remote procedure called operation, RPC operation? What's an observation? Sometimes the students get hungry during class. The student organization, STORM, has a lounge where students can hang out and drink coffee or beer. Here's the science building's cafeteria. Many people think the food is better than um, um, airline food. On nice days, students sometimes go outside to have lunch. This building houses the Center for Health and Well-Being. It also has a fitness center students can use. In the afternoon, we have programming labs, and students can work on their assignments here. We have hundreds of computers all over the building. They mostly run Solaris, Linux, or Windows. There are student assistants to help students with their programming assignments. Hi again. Now I'd like to tell you a little bit about our master's program in Parallel and Distributed Computer Systems, or PDCS. It's a two-year program and it focuses very strongly on systems. There are courses on distributed systems, parallel programming, cluster and grid computing, network security, and so on. All of the professors who teach these courses also do research in computer systems. Um, I'd like to introduce you to them, and I'll start with giving a little bit of background on my own work. I'm working on operating systems. I've been working on the Minix system for a number of years, and our goal is to build a very highly dependable, highly reliable, secure operating system. The idea is that if there are faults detected in the system, the system should notice its own faults and automatically be able to correct them. Now let's meet some of the other faculty members. 
Hi, so I'm uh, Henry Ball. I'm a professor here at the Freie Universiteit. Uh, my research is on high-performance distributed computing. So uh, the idea is to let a large number of computers collaborate to solve really interesting, challenging problems. So we started doing that uh, a couple of decades ago, uh, starting out with cluster computers, so a lot of computers in one rack. Uh, the language I did for my PhD thesis was called ORCA, which you see here. Uh, nowadays we work on large-scale distributed systems, so grid. So you have all these computers or clusters spread out all over the whole world. And the idea is to combine all that computing power to solve truly uh, large problems. So we look at uh, programming languages, programming environments, uh, often based on Java to do that. So this is our dust tree cluster. So there are five of those clusters out in the Netherlands at the different universities. Uh, each cluster has a large number of PCs based on uh, op uh, AMD Opterons. Internally within every cluster the nodes are connected with MiriNet and between the clusters we have a, a very high speed optical network with a bandwidth up to 80 gigabit. And this makes uh, the system uh, well known to be the world's fastest grid. Hello, my name is Guillaume Pierre and I'm an assistant professor here at the Rhine Universal States. Uh, my research is mostly related to very large scale distributed systems. That means mostly I'm working on web systems, how to host web applications, for example, in the presence of flash grounds. And I'm also working a little bit at grid computing and peer to peer networking. Hi, my name is Tilo Kilman. I'm an associate professor here and I'm working in the field of grid computing. Here we are coupling hundreds or thousands of computers that are spread all around the globe to solve large problems that you couldn't solve with a single computer. For example, we are working with radio astronomers who are trying to find the origins of the universe by large simulations. And another example would be bioinformatician problems where people trying to understand the workings of the human genomes and the human cells, which really requires a lot of computation. Hi, my name is Herbert Boss. I'm involved in a lot of research related to security, detecting worms, viruses, and the way they spread, the way we can fingerprint them and stop them on the internet. Um, I'm doing a lot of work in high-speed networking. Um, so how do you deal with the uh, link rates of the future and I'm involved in a Minix project where we develop a cool new operating system. So if you're involved, uh, interested in any of this stuff, um, you should come to the very university. Okay, those were the faculty members. Now let's meet some of the students in the PDCS program. Hi, my name is Marco Fiscato. I'm from Italy and I'm one of the PDCS students. I'm also working on a program called Turtle, which is a peer-to-peer -peer file sharing program designed to protect your privacy. Turtle is really a friend-to-friend -friend program, meaning that direct connections are only established to your friends or people you trust. This allows to share information in a secure way because it's relayed through your friends and friends of your friends and so on. For more information, you can check the website www.turtleforprivacy.org. Uh, hi, I'm Ana Oprescu. Um, I came here from Romania. Uh, I chose the PDCS program because of Andy and also her Netherlands is quite a nice country. Uh, my master's thesis is about timestamps, uh, Lambert and replicate method invocation. And you should come here and check it out. Hi there, my name is Nick Palmer from the United States. I came to Amsterdam to learn to do research and spend some time in Europe. I've enjoyed my time uh, doing the PDCS Masters and Amsterdam and the faculty here so much that I've decided to stay for a PhD. My uh, master's thesis is on distributed applications for smartphone. Hi, I'm Namita. I'm from India. I came for the PTCS program here because the field of distributed computing is of great interest to me and uh, the curriculum offered by the course is pretty broad and extensive. Uh, FU for me has been a very encouraging and a resourceful environment to work in and uh, the two years of my master's here have been an excellent adventure into the exploration of problems in my field. Uh, currently, for my master's thesis, I'm working with Professor Martin van Steen and Professor Guillaume Pierre on the problem of enforcing collaboration in content delivery networks. Okay, that was our little tour. If you think you're interested in the PDCS program, check out our website for more information, and perhaps I'll see you here next year.